How's it going everyone? Tristan here, uh, back here in Texas. Um, this video is the Major League Fishing Collegiate National Championship uh, at Lake Toho and the Kissimmee Chain of Lakes in Florida. Um, but I just realized <laughs> we never filmed an intro for it. Um, actually, we kind of did, but we ended up losing one of our cameras, as y'all will probably see later in the video. I'll probably talk about it. But yeah, we lost one of our cameras uh, during the trip. It flew out of the boat into the lake. So uh, half of the footage for this video um, and like a whole different perspective was lost, including uh, our intro. So that's why the video is going to be kind of jumpy. Uh, we apologize for that, but we tried our best to do the best we could for this video with what we had. So um, we appreciate y'all watching and sticking with us. We have a lot more content coming soon. We're going to try to upload twice a week, every Wednesday and Saturday night. So y'all be sure and stay tuned. Keep checking in with us. And uh, like I said, we appreciate y'all watching. And um, let's get into it. Alright guys, first fish of the national championship is a crappie on scope. Yeah! Even though it's not a bass, it kind of was cool to scope one. I imagine you felt the same way yesterday. Nice crappie. Send it. Okay, just hit the top of it. How much fun would it be if I hung an eight pounder on this in there? <laughs> Fast. Good job. He's gonna be close. All right, guys, just caught this one. Keeper number two. Might be starting to find something. I'll clip on him and get back in there. They're there? Is that the female? She didn't get the hooked up. Where'd you pitch? Right there? Get her. Is that the female? Let's go. Nice. I'm gonna try to catch the male. That's a good one, dude. Yeah. First bed fish in February. Bed fishing when you can't actually see them eat is kind of difficult. Because you don't know if they have it yet or not. Oh man, I'm glad we got her. Dude, this is going nutty. I'm glad we found this yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. That way we at least have like a something, you know? He's gonna be close though. Nah, he's, no, he's 
think. He is 12. Keeper number four? Three? Four? four? Yeah. Keeper number four. <clears throat> Guys, if y'all knew how much we struggled in practice. Still nothing super special yet, but we're working on something. Because I don't want to short strike him with this. He might not be a keeper, I guess. He's going to be close. He looked a lot bigger in the water. They both did. They both did. But, good news. Oh. Nope. Good news, what? You might find another female. Female, yeah. That's very true. Yeah, it is. I think it is. Keep him up, keep him up. Please be a bass, please be a bass. Please be a bass. Yep, yep, yep. All right, guys, it's been a hell of a day. We've got four in the box. Ian just caught this absolute giant on the chatterbait. It's been a day. We lost our other camera and our YOLO Tech power stick. Accidentally didn't lock it down tight enough and it flew out of the boat in some rough water. So we've only got this camera. So I'm just trying to turn it on whenever we get bit. Ooh. It's been like, God dang it. I don't know, it's probably been two hours since we got a decent bite and then a random six so hopefully we'll catch more like that all right guys we got an hour left before check-in we got a limit for probably 10 or 11 pounds and uh we had some squeakers in there but i just caught this decent one that's gonna help out every ounce counts down here when in florida so oh, that fish could potentially jump us up 10 spots yeah nice one hopefully what's going on everyone back here at the airbnb after day one what a day i don't even know where to begin so for starters it's february 21st so today is actually my 22nd birthday um so that was cool went out to dinner with everyone and it was cool but uh as far as the tournament goes um, you guys saw as much footage as we could give you. Um, we had a lot more footage, <laughs> um, but uh, our Navlite power stick from Yolotech flew out of the Navlite port today while we were running down the lake, and so we lost it and our GoPro Hero 8 Black. It's in the bottom of Lake Toho. So, uh, luckily I was running this GoPro, the brand new one we just got, Hero 10 Black, on a chest mount. Uh, but I only had three batteries, so I had to kind of pick and choose when I turned it on and off. So we didn't get all the fish catches. We got a few of them, and then we got, like, updates throughout the day, as y'all saw. So, yeah, that kind of is what happened in terms of why the footage is kind of spotty. Um, lost, like, five, six hundred dollars in camera gear. So that was, I mean, that sucked, but silver lining to that was... Um, we caught five fish today for 12 pounds, 12 ounces, or no, 12 pounds, eight ounces, um, which has us in 60th place out of the 198 teams competing. So, um, you know, 60th doesn't sound that great, but um, the weights are really tight. If we had two more pounds, we'd be in the top 20. So, and we had it on today, it just got off. Uh, we had it on twice and it got off. So. We're around some of the right fish, but tomorrow we gotta go crack a bag. Probably 20 to 23 pounds is what we need tomorrow on five to have a chance to make the top 10 and fish championship Thursday. So that's the goal. I'm gonna try to swing as hard as we can, as many times as we can on bass tomorrow, big bass hopefully. And uh, hopefully we can catch somewhere between 20 and 23 and slide into that top 10 and have a shot at winning this thing on championship Thursday. So it's been a fun day. Uh, it's been a fun week. It's just kind of a grind. Um, 
But yeah, thankful to be here. It's an awesome opportunity. You can never complain when you're fishing the biggest event in, in collegiate bass fishing against the, the best teams in collegiate bass fishing. So um, yeah, that's end of day one. We'll see y'all on the water bright and early tomorrow morning for day number two. See you there. everyone we're out here day two of the major league fishing national championship collegiate national championship on uh, the Kissimmee chain we had a fog delay for about three hours so it is currently 10 39 a.m. and we are just now pulling up to our first spot so um, basically took locking down to Kissimmee and all the other lakes out of our mind today we're just gonna stick to Toho and see if we can grind out 20 pounds and make the top 10 all right guys quick midday update 12 40 p.m. still have no fish in the box we haven't even had a bass bite um, seen a few but we couldn't get them to bite so gonna run south What's going on everyone here back at the Airbnb getting ready to leave the beautiful sunshine state um, it's been a great week you know uh, we didn't have the finish we hoped for you know y'all saw day two we caught the one keeper uh, but the trolling motor ended up dying on us halfway through the day and we couldn't fish the rest of the day with no trolling motor so um, we had to toss that one back and just go in a few hours early um, it especially sucks since we had a four-hour fog delay but that's what happens so we dropped from 60th to like 143rd in the standings because we didn't weigh in. Um, so yeah, disappointing finish in the championship, but it was awesome to just be a part of the biggest tournament in college bass fishing and, and be fishing against the 200 best college bass fishing teams in the nation. So it's an awesome week. Florida is absolutely beautiful. Um, the fishing is fun. It's a little tough, or it was for us, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, can't really beat flipping grass. So. I have no complaints. Learned a lot this week. Had a hell of an ex hell of an experience, and um, can't wait to get back down here and get revenge. But appreciate y'all watching. Stick around for the next one. Here we go at the top of the class on a roll, and it's time to run it up. Yeah, you know, maxed out, put the pedal to the floor. Hey, on a roll. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, we winning by a landslide. Never see me coming on my landmine. Yeah, I ain't taking orders in command.